share with you just a couple thoughts, then they're going to pray. We've got a few other pastors that have asked to come and pray. It's going to be a brief meeting, but we're here to pray. That's what we're doing. And so, uh, Lynn, come on up, and Don, and you guys share whatever you want to share, okay? I like to let him do the speaking. <laughs> he does it better. First of all, let me just say thank you for all your love and support. We sure appreciate the people of this community who've been rallying with us and people from other communities. We've got letters, uh, emails, some nasty ones too, but far more people have stepped forward and been encouraging. In the Sermon on the Mount, when Jesus talked, he talked us about us being the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And I was reminded when Solomon was dedicating the temple, God spoke and he said that when I shut up heaven and there is no rain, he said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, he says, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And he says, I'll heal your land. And that's what we need an army of people committed to praying for our nation that God will heal our land once again. And then I was reminded in Daniel, I was reading earlier this week, Daniel says, we do not make these requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen, Lord, forgive, Lord, hear and act. For your sake, my God, do not delay. Amen. Amen. Amen.